so the previous problem we had solved up to p4 okay now again we will write all the horizontal at pressure p1 was 125.4 psf p2 was 305.9 psf p3 2395 psf and p4 4005 psf Now let's draw the final art pressure diagram which was For the calculation purpose, let's extend this up to this portion. So we have already determined P1, P2, P3, and P4. So just like the previous problem, we will again solve the Horizontal force H1 This is H1 This one is H2 This is H3 H4 And this one is H5 just like before now H1 is equals to this triangular area so half into P1 into 3 so 188.1 pound just like this you will determine h2 125.4 into 10 equals to 125.4 pound now h3 is equals to h3 is this small triangle blur area so 305.9 minus 125.4 into 10 into half 902.5 pound h4 is this triangle area so this is 2395 into d because p3 into d value of p3 is 2395 okay now h5 is equals to let's go back to the problem let's h5 is this blue triangle so let's take the height of this triangle as f so H5 will be half into P4 into F. So half, sorry. Half into F 
थ्री टू टू थ्री नाइन फाइव प्लस फोर थाउजेंड फाइव दैट साउंड्स अप Now we will determine the lever arm of the corresponding horizontal forces. So H1, H2, H3, H4 and H5. Since we will take moment at this point O so we will have to determine the lever arms of h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 in with respect to this o point so for h1 let's take a look of the figure so for h1 the lever arms will be total depth of embedment let's take it as d so d plus 10 feet plus one third of three that means d plus 11 feet just like this h2 h3 h4 and h5 will be determined This is easy, just like simple geometry, simple analytical mechanics problem you have already done. Okay. H1, okay. M1 will be D plus 11, M2 will be D plus 10 by 2 equals to D plus 5. M3 will be... D plus third of ten. D plus three point three three. H four will be D by two and H five M five will be one third of F. That means F by three. Now, to determine the value of D, there are two unknowns, which is D and F. So, we need two equations to solve this. Okay. As we all know, for the static equilibrium, summation of Fx, that means all the summation of horizontal forces will be zero. And moment must be zero. Okay. Now for this one, you can write it summation of h equals to zero. So one eighty eight point one plus one twenty five plus nine zero two point five minus two three nine five d plus 3200 equals to 0. So F will be equals to minus 2344.6 plus 2395D divided by 3200, which is 0 0.733, 0 0.748D. Okay. So this is the value of F with respect to D. Let's take it as equation 1. Now, for equation 2, summation of moment with respect to O will be equals to 0. Let's take the clockwise direction as a positive direction. It's up to you. You can take it as anti-clockwise direction as a positive one. Uh, just that in case the uh, sign will be reverse. Okay, 188.1 into D plus 11 plus 125 into D plus 5 
d plus 3, 3, 3 minus 2, 3, 9, 5, d into d by 2 plus f into f by 3 probably 0. So then uh, you will get uh, equation of d square and you will put the value of f. You will put the value of f from equation 1. Okay. Then you will get an equation of d to the power 5. d to the power 4. After solving this equation in the calculator, you will get the value of d equals to 5.54 feet. Okay. Now, this is the de uh, embedded depth of the sheet pile. So, this is let's go back to the problem so the, sorry. okay d equals to we have actually 5.54 feet but as i have already discussed that this problem was solved for initial condition when undrained shear parameters was was used In previous lecture, I have discussed elaborately that for the, this design of sheet pile in cohesive soil, we have used the drained, undrained, param, undrained strength parameters of the soil. And in for this regard, uh, for initial condition, when drainage doesn't occur fully, in that condition, there will be only cohesion of the cohesive soil and after time passes drainage will occur cohesion will disappear and in final strength condition there for critical design purpose cohesion will be taken as a zero and um, internal angle of friction which is phi will be taken less than 30 degree so in the next lecture we will solve the problem for final strength condition for initial strength condition, we have achieved the value of embedded length of sheet pile equals to 5.54 feet. And for final strength condition, we will again check, we will again determine all the parameters, sorry, all the values, All uh, we will draw the art pressure diagram again, we will uh, solve the art pressure, uh, uh, lateral art pressure and corresponding horizontal pressure, we will again take moment, uh, with respect to the point M O and we will sum up the horizontal forces equals to zero and for the same in the same process we will again determine the value of depth of embedment length and after this we will check uh, whether uh, which one is the critical condition that means uh, for which condition the depth of embedment length is uh, needed sorry the depth of embedded length is uh, larger so the larger one will be taken as a designed embedded length so in the next class we will design it for the final strength condition